Hello and welcome to yet another Discord bot tutorial for our Discord bot and uh, using Node.js and Discord.js. Today we're going to be showing you how to get your GitHub repository up, push your code, commit the code, and get everything ready for source control. Source control is vital for your program for several reasons mainly because if you mess up your project you're going to have a ton of backups and older versions you can use from github b if someone has an issue or a suggestion or a question from your bot they can ask it and you can answer and help people out and then you can also if you are collaborating with someone this is a great way to collaborate there are countless ways in which you can use GitHub, and I'm just explaining a few at the moment. If you want to see what GitHub can really do, go look it up. Anyway, to jump right into this, uh, you need to download GitHub uh, in github.com. You need to sign up, and then you need to log in into it on your computer. And once everything there is good, you can then go back here. So the first thing you're going to do is start a project. And I'm going to call this Tutbot. I'm going to put in the description a tutorial Discord bot for YouTube. This is completely optional, but I'm going to put this in. Next, I'm going to do create repository. And it's going to give us some ideas here. The first thing I want to do is we don't want people seeing our config.json, which stores our token for a bot. Which is why before I was saying we shouldn't put our direct token in here. Instead, we should put in a JSON file, and then we can say, hey, don't upload this, using a process called git ignore. So we're going to put a new file called .git ignore. It's going to be incredibly simple. We're literally just going to put the bot, or sorry, the file name in here, config.json, save, we're done. That's it. No big coding. We're just saying, do not push this file to GitHub. Now that we have that, we're going to minimize this, minimize this. We're just going to open Discord JS. We're going to open Tutorial Bot, and here we have our code. If you haven't done any coding yet, go look at my previous videos, and I'll be showing you how to make all of this. So, as before, we're going to hold Shift and right click. Next, we're going to open the PowerShell window here. You can also open a command prompt and navigate to this very directory. It doesn't matter. Next we're going to do, uh, we can actually just go back here if you want to, and we can just enter these commands. We can put this in, and next we can do git init, and it's going to say initialize this empty git repository. If you get something else through any of this, or if you have any questions, go ask it down below, and I can help you out if you have any errors. Next, we're going to say git add this. Next, we're going to say, uh, you can just copy and paste, I'm trying to show you here, git commit m, and we're going to say init added readme, and this is just for an example to show you. Next, we're going to do um, this right here. I'm just going to copy this for the sake of not typing that in. And then finally we're going to do git push uh, flag it u origin master. And then it's going to say hey if we did this stuff here it's going to say we're done. You don't need to look through all that. You can. It's good for your health. And then uh, that's if you look here it's all we need. We don't need to do this stuff because we already did. Next uh, we can actually we actually, if we look on our code right here, we see that it actually worked. We have committed readme directly from our PowerShell command line. Next, we're going to do git add dot, and this adds all of our files to the uh, source control so that we can push it. So next, we're going to do git commit dash m initial. And people commonly use initial as this is the initial source code. And this is going to commit all of these files. And then finally we're going to do git push uh, origin master. 
and enter that in. And it's going to tell us some stuff, but it's basically just going to tell us that we have pushed our code and this is what we want. And then we can restart the page and we get all of our code here, but the main thing that we're looking for is the config.json file. And if you look around, you'll see that it is not here, which is great. It means that everything worked correctly and that they cannot see our token no matter what file version they look at. Next, we can actually go back to Visual Studio Code and we're going to set up the source control. Uh, you don't need to do this step if you are using any other type of editor, code editor. This is just for Visual Studio Code because it's a great feature you can use and I'm going to be using it. If you're not going to use it, then it's when you want to push it, just do the same thing. You're going to add the files. You're then going to do git commit m and put a message. And then finally, you're going to do git push origin master. So once you do that, then you can go here and uh, you see you can uh, add this uh, here. Once we have the, let me find it here, the dot git folder, which may be hidden depending on your operating system, then it should be able to be here. And you can then make a change. We can say put this here and we can save it and it will should show up here in a second there should be notification if it doesn't you can just click on this and or you can just go here and you can refresh it it's going to say oh here he's a change and you can go back here you can see all oh, these changes here there's changes here there's change. you can just see the highlighted parts and you can go here you can then click the plus button to stage the changes the stage changes are changes that are ready to be committed and pushed. So you can open the file, you can unstage it, uh, you can look at the changes and such. You can also then click commit, and we're going to do testing VS Code git integration. Oops. Alright, so then we can just enter and now we're going, if you actually go back to here and you reload, it's still not going to be here and that's because you have to synchronize changes and you say OK or you can do OK don't show again. I'm going to actually do that because I don't want that error message anymore every time I try to synchronize the changes. Anyway, it's going to do that, it's going to load and then it's going to do it instantly. We can reload the page and here we get testing Visual Studio Code, Git integration. And if you have that, then you have succeeded. Everything is perfect, ready to go. You have the Git integration set up. You have a GitHub repository. And then we can continue to uh, continue coding with backups and other versions and everything here. I'm also going to continue to upload my code here. So if you uh, are have any issues, I'm going to put the code here. Anyways, I'll leave this in the description. If you need any help, put it down in the comments, or you can Discord message me at Mr. Slime Dud, hashtag 1805. Thanks for watching, I hope you had a good time, and stay tuned for the next video.